In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this action movie poster using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Drill here back with another video and as you can see, this is the final output. Now before we start, I would like to make one thing clear. It's not design tutorial, it's more like how to use tools to get done what you want to get done. Uh, so the design I did is really simple. We have really big main character, then a little bit smaller side character and then even smaller for the foreground. Basic design anyone can understand. So to create it, we need to create a new document. So go to file and new. Now here if we are using Photoshop CC, you can simply go to print and here select A4 size and in the older version you can select it from the drop down menu. So select the A4 then create. So to start things, first of all, we will add a gradient to the background and for that, double click on your background, hit OK. After that, right click here and select blending options. In the blending option, go here and select gradient overlay. Now for the colors, uh, let's go here. And first, as you can see, I'm using uh, different tones of the same color, which is gray. So on the lighter side, uh, you can see here, I'm using the color code A0, A0, A0. Uh, and on the darker side, I'm using the color tone 1E, 1E, 1E. So you can copy this for the exact output. So use those and in the gradient style, I'm using radial, opacity is 100, angle is 149 and the scale is 105. That's it, then go and hit OK. Now we will add a texture to the background to make it more rusty. So for that, go to file and select place linked. And here, go and select this texture that you have downloaded, go and place it. Now before you confirm it, hold your shift key and rotate it from the angle like this and after that hold your alt and shift key and drag it from a corner so it will fill up the entire canvas. Then go and confirm it. After that go to your blending options and select divide. Now it's really strong so in the opacity go and make it um, 20%. Looking pretty good and now we can add the model but this time we will open it in new document. So go to file and select open. Select the model, the main model, where is it? Here. Then go and open it. Now obviously we need to remove the background but before that right click here on the layer and select convert to smart object. Now we can remove the background. So for that right click here and select your quick selection tool and make it a little bit bigger. Use your bracket keys and then go and make the selection of the model. Now to remove it from here, uh, select the minus option from here and then go and remove it. Okay, I think this is possible and once your selection is done, go and click on this mask option. So the background is gone and now we need to do some retouching on the model and it's really simple. Uh, go and make sure you have selected the model thumbnail and not the layer mask. So make sure you activate this and after that go to filter and you need Photoshop CC for this in case you are wondering. So go to your filter and then go and select camera raw filter. Here first of all I will increase some contrast so I'm gonna go and make it somewhere around like 20% and after that I'm gonna go and reduce the highlight to make it a little bit flat uh, to give that you know Hollywood posterish look. So this looks alright. After that, I'm going to lift up the shadows so we can see the details uh, in the dark parts uh, and it will work pretty good since he's wearing complete black outfit. After that, I'm going to go and add a little bit of whites uh, to make, uh, you know, highlights a bit brighter and then I'm going to go to my blacks and lift it up a little bit more. So, okay, that looks perfect and now all we need to do is add some clarity. So I'm gonna go and make it somewhere around 40-50% mm, looks good. Okay, this looks nice. Then go and hit OK. So as you can see, it's already looking really good. So once this is done, and this is exactly how you will add every character, no matter how many you do. And as you can see, we forgot to do selection of this portion. So it's really easy to fix since we have a layer mask. So I'm going to go and select my brush tool and activate the layer mask here and since I want to bring it back I'm going to go and select white color. Make it a little bit bigger and now you can simply paint things back just like that. So this is ready and this is how you will do with every single model that you use on poster. Uh, so select your move tool from here and take this document out like this. 
Now drag and drop this model on this document here on your actual poster. Then go and close this one. We don't need it. Actually, I'm going to make him a bit smaller. So press Ctrl T. Then hold your shift key and make him a bit smaller like this. So the main character is ready and now I will start adding the side characters. And since we can save some time, I already have done the cutouts for the other characters. So the first one is this. I'm going to go and drop her here and I'm going to hold my shift key and make her a bit smaller. I want her to be somewhere around here and keep her a bit small. Okay, this looks good. Then go and confirm it. Now I already know how things will look in final output, but when you are creating your poster, this is the time where you will do a lot of experiments and you will see like what character works, what doesn't work, how big, small you need things and how much you need to erase. So I'm going to go and add this model and one more. So I'm going to go here and select the detective and I'm going to go and drop him here. Now he's looking in other direction. So to flip it, right click and select flip horizontal and then go and drag him here, make it a little bit more smaller like this. And now we can have idea like how much we need to erase from the basic model here. So I'm going to select my layer one, the original one, get my brush tool, right click and make sure hardness is somewhere around like 50% and make sure you select your layer mask. And since we want to remove it, I'm going to go and select black color and then start erasing it like this. Now just like the base model, we also need to remove some portions of the female model and the detective here. But before we do that, we will add the foreground models so we can have idea like how much we need to erase. Okay, looking pretty good and now we can add another models. So for that, I'm gonna go and select first of all this one uh, and then go and put her here like this. Then hold your shift key and make her smaller like this. First confirm it and we need to keep her on top of everything. So go and put her here like this. Select a move tool and move her here and see how things look. Okay, so this is the part where you have all the models in the basic outline and now you will make them bigger smaller or move them around until they look exactly how you want so first of all we need to fill up this area so i'm gonna go and move the detective a little bit here and also where is the female model here with the gun also i'm gonna move her a little bit here so the space is little less now we still have some empty space here so what we will do activate the layer mask of this base model again get my brush tool and here i'm gonna use white color this time and bring back some of the details so you know the area looks nice okay looking pretty good and as you can see we need to clean up some areas here and there so to do that first of all let's go and activate this model here now you will already have a layer mask here but since i used png i need to apply one so i'm gonna go and apply a layer mask then go and select my brush tool and since i want to remove it i'm gonna go and select black color and then go and erase it like this good and now we also need to remove some area from the main model so activate the layer mask of main model then go and erase it like this Cool, and now some from the detective. So I'm gonna activate the detective layer, apply a layer mask and erase some things from here. Okay, so the basic setup is ready and now we will add some brush strokes in the background. One, because it looks really cool and second, it will help us to separate subjects from the background even better. So to do it, go and select your brush tool and in the brush, go and select the brushes that you have downloaded, this paint brushes. So I'm gonna go and select this first one and it's the same brush multiple times, I don't know why. So select the first one and then in the color, go here and select some really nice, uh, almost uh, bright red, but not really bright red. So go and hit okay and then make your brush a bit bigger 
use your bracket keys for that and then go and do a click but 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 before you do it make sure you create a new blank layer and put this layer under your model here all the models okay and rename it brush okay now you are allowed to click so I'm gonna go and do a click on this layer and of course um, I need to change the color again so go and select this one then go and hit okay so I'm gonna go and do a click then change my brush again select this one and make it a bit bigger like this and then do another click and then change the brush and one important thing that you can do is select the brush and then click here on this icon and here now you can rotate the brush as many times you want so I'm gonna go and rotate it and make it a little bit bigger and then do a click okay so most of hard work is done and all we need to do is add some text and do some color correction so before we do that let's group things up so select your brush layer here then hold your shift key and select the layer on the top right here then press ctrl G so everything is in single group so it's really easy to manage so I'm gonna select my move tool and move things a little bit here like this then again press ctrl T the box will come up hit OK then hold your alt and shift key and then drag it from a corner like this so that's looking better uh, perfect then go and confirm it and when you have your move tool selected you can also use your arrow keys to move things around it's much more convenient so looks better now we need to add main title but before we do that I'm gonna go and make this portion a bit darker so we can see the font properly so for that go and create a new blank layer from here and then select your brush tool and in the brush go and select a really soft brush so the first one and after that in the color make sure you have black color then do a click here like this hold your shift key and do a click here like this after that go and press ctrl T hold your shift key and make it big like this again hold your shift key and drag it down like this and then stretch it even more and then drag it down like this now we can add the text so for that select your type tool here and in the font I'm gonna go and select millionaire demo this is the font then go and type in so I came up with this ridiculous name the guns 2 now as you can see the 2 it's not really good so select your 2 here and in the font this time I'm gonna go and select uh, uh, popular standard so here as you can see select this font so this looks better now as you can see this 2 is little bit big compared to other text so go and select it again then go to your text options here and then make it a little bit smaller until it aligns with the rest of the text so this looks good then go and confirm it now to make it big simply just press ctrl T hold your shift key and make it big like this looking good and now we will add some texture to the font so for that select the same texture that we used for the background select it then press ctrl J now put it on top of your text at the moment it's everywhere so to fix that right click here and select create clipping mask so now it will only show up on the font let me zoom in so right now it's on divide I'm gonna go and make the opacity first 100% and then in the blind mode I'm gonna go and make it multiply now you can see the texture on the text so now start decreasing the opacity until it blends in really nice let's zoom out so we can see how it looks with the models so I'm gonna go and make it 50% uh, okay 60 looks good now I'm also gonna add a little bit stroke in the font so for that activate your text layer right click and select blending option 
and here go and select stroke now make sure you don't overdo it it looks really cheap so i'm gonna go and try to keep it somewhere around two to three pixels so two looks good or let's try three okay so two pixel looks better two and hit okay now let's add some sample text to make it look more professional and for that activate your texture layer because we need sample text on top of it so for that i'm gonna go to file uh, then go and select place linked and here select this PSD basic credit block and place it uh, right now it has black background because we placed it uh, no, and we didn't open it in new document so go and confirm it and after that in the blend mode go and change it to screen so we don't have any black background and then drag it down all the way here like this now I really don't like the way this text is here in the side and not in center so to fix that, right click on your credit layer and then go and select rasterize layer. And after that, select your marquee tool from here, right click rectangular marquee. Now zoom in a little bit and make a selection here like this. After that, select your move tool again, hold your shift key and drag it in the center like this. That looks a lot better Then to remove the selection, go to select and deselect. Now I'm gonna select my move tool again and then move entire block here. Looks a lot better. So this is done. Now let's add some character names on the top. So for that, select your text tool and in the font, I'm gonna go and select Bebas New. So here, select this one and then type in whatever you want. So I'm gonna go and type main and then hero. Okay, looking good. Confirm it, now press Ctrl T, hold your shift key and make it really tiny like this here. Confirm it. Now we need to do some changes in the text. So first of all, the color. So I'm gonna double click on the T, go and click on this text box and in the color, let's make it white first. Cool. And here uh, in the space between the words, I'm gonna go and make it 19. Okay, a little bit more, how about 25? Okay, looks good. Uh, and then in the size, I'm gonna go and make it 24, looks good. And in the length of text, I'm gonna go and make it 125. Cool. So this is good. And in the color, you know what, actually, let's make it a bit more grayish so it blends better. Cool. Then hit OK. Now we need to make a copy of it. So simply press Ctrl J, uh, select your move tool, hold your shift key and drag it here like this. Then double click on your T here and change it to something like this. And the same way, keep making the copies. Control J, double click. Now I'm gonna go and group all of this. So select this one, hold your shift key and click on the last text here. Then press Ctrl G. The group is ready and now I will put it under my group one here like this. So it's behind the models and looks better. And also reduce the opacity a little to fade it more. So yeah, that looks good. Now I'm gonna go and add some random unnecessary sparks because action movie poster. So I'm gonna go to file, go to place linked uh, select the sparks, go and place it, uh, confirm it. So first of all, let's put it on top of everything here like this. Then in the blend mode, go and change it to screen. Then press Ctrl T, uh, rotate it a little bit from the corner, put it here like this. Then go and confirm it. A little bit of spark makes everything better. So the poster is ready and now all we have to do is color correction which is really important or it can ruin your poster. So first of all let's go and create a new adjustment layer from here and select a selective colors. First thing in the reds, I'm gonna go to my cyan and remove it a little bit somewhere around like uh, minus 20 and in the black I'm gonna add a little bit so we have this really nice punch in the red color and looks really cool. So around 35 looks awesome. After that, I'm gonna go to my yellows and here, first of all, in the yellow, I'm gonna go and increase it a little bit. So we have really nice colors in the skin tones and also in the sparkle. So I'm gonna go and keep it somewhere around like 50%. After that, I'm gonna go to my blacks here and in the yellow, I'm gonna go make it minus two. Cool. 
So the selective color is done. After that, go and create new adjustment layer and this time go and select curves. In the curves, first of all, add some contrast. So lift it up a little bit here and after that, uh, bring it down from here. So we have really nice contrast. Not too much. Okay, then go to your reds and here I'm gonna go and increase it a little bit from here and then I'm gonna add a bunch of uh, cyan to balance things out uh, in the dark portions. So looking good so as you can see uh, without the adjustments and with the adjustment so the final poster is ready and we need to fix one last thing as you can see this model here it looks really yellow because she was shot on different lighting so to fix that where is our model here so open it and find the model layer here so to fix it go and create new adjustment layer and select selective colors and before you do any changes turn on your clipping mask so now any changes you do will stay on the model Cool. So go and select yellows and here in the yellows go and reduce it a little bit and by little bit I mean 80 or 90. So 82 looks good and also add a little bit of cyan not too much uh, somewhere 5%. So as you can see now she blends in a lot better. So that's it and this is my final output and it's my first attempt at creating a movie poster. So I really hope that you guys learned something and if you did Hit that like button, tell me your thoughts in the comment section below and if you want to check out more videos like this you can click on any of these boxes or you can also subscribe to my channel so every time I upload a new video you will get the update plus clicking on that subscribe button will take you to my youtube channel where I have tons of photoshop tutorials waiting for you. So till then goodbye, take care and have some fun with photoshop.